Hi, this is Don Kinghorn at Puget Systems. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit today about uh, our a couple of workstations that we have on offer for uh, uh, specifically targeted for machine learning and AI, which is something I'm personally very excited about, um, with good reason. Uh, we we now have the uh, perfect storm for for uh, deep learning and AI. We have mountains and mountains of data and we have an incredibly capable computing hardware to grind through it um, and that computing hardware is what I'm going to tell you about uh, let's go ahead and and uh, take a little look at what we've got what we're looking at here is um, a desktop uh, on uh, uh, our um, our primary digits box our uh, Ford GPU accelerated workstation. Uh, this is running uh, Ubuntu 1404 with uh, digits 4, uh, NVIDIA's uh, deep learning stack. Um, I've been using uh, CAFE for testing. That's um, a wonderful API from the uh, Berkeley Computer Vision Lab. Uh, and digits itself is uh, a really quite useful uh, web interface uh, using the uh, cafe or Theano's uh, back ends um, uh, really quite uh, useful piece of software actually um, lots of scripts for handling uh, data files uh, I've been trying to test with uh, actually uh, uh, realistic size uh, problem sets this um, you can see right here I'm, I'm training on a, on a, a subset from ImageNet uh, the LSVR uh, 2012 data set um, and this this about uh, 1.2 million images that I'm using in there and I've got it segmented in here to uh, 960,000 for a training set and 320,000 for an image set so uh, pretty good data handling um, this job that is running right here or was running is uh, finished now and uh, uh, total time on this was a little bit over 19 hours that is running on our digits box with four uh, NVIDIA GTX 1070s in it uh, for I've, um, this is just part of my testing um, I would pr I would recommend in this system uh, using Titan X's and that performance would drop down to around eight hours which is uh, remarkable in, in my opinion it's an incredible compute capability in these new NVIDIA Pascal cards um, I mean this is a, just a taste of what's going on um, I, I tell you a little bit about uh, hardware and why we recommend what we do um, it, it's it's pretty straightforward these um, uh, deep learning uh, deep neural network uh, training sets the uh, algorithms are very very highly optimized for GPU so this is really all about the GPU uh, the best workstation for this kind of thing is going to be a single CPU processor and part of the reason for that is that there is definitely um, uh, lots of data being transferred from the system uh, to GPU memory and on uh, multi CPU systems that can sometimes be a problem because you have uh, memory transfers across uh, CPU memory and then also across uh, PCIe lanes attached to the different uh, CPUs to different video cards uh, it that sounds a little bit funny but it can actually be quite a mess and can really slow things down um, uh, CPU c is not the the main ingredient for performance with these kind of jobs uh, actually I can even illustrate that on just what's on the screen right here uh, this job was running with four GPUs and they were essentially maxed out the entire time they were running at uh, well over nine, nearly a hundred percent full out for the entire job run and CPU usage would uh, typically be around uh, what we're seeing here this was uh, 655 percent so that's uh, six and a half cores were under load during the test and this is an eight core CPU in here um, uh, that 
that those are the main characteristics. You you need you need uh, my recommendation is that you have uh, two CPU cores for every GPU that you've got, and that you have at least twice as much system memory as you have GPU memory. So in, in general, um, uh, for this system right here, that's 64. Well, I'm sorry, 30, 32 gigs of um, uh, GPU memory in those um, uh, 1070s. So uh, minimally, I would recommend a system with 64 gigs, and probably in this system, uh, especially with the Titan Xs, which would be uh, you know 12 gigabytes uh, per card, I, I would r recommend 128 gigs of memory. It's it's good to have it. Um, uh, Storage-wise, uh, you could be dealing with very large data sets, so fast uh, SSD storage, uh, lots of options there. Um, but those are the main ingredients. Um, now let's just uh, let's take a peek at what we are offering here. We've got uh, two systems that we think really are ideal for this kind of workload. Uh, the uh, the s our our mini. Um, this is this is basically a configuration of the Peak Mini for uh, deep learning, and this one I I love this machine. It's uh, very compact. Uh, you can see the size of it here compared to a uh, uh, a beverage can. It may not be your beverage of choice, but it gives you an idea of the size. Uh, this machine actually we have a uh, we have a custom. Uh, a case for this that you can carry an overhead uh, bin on an airplane, uh, and I've done that several times. Um, it's it's remarkably um, uh, compact, but it is incredibly capable. Let's take a we've got an image shot here of what's on the inside of this thing. Um, it's small, but it's not too small. I, I've seen more compact systems, and we even have more compact systems, but they're not appropriate for this kind of workload. Uh, this machine is fully capable. Uh, it's an X99 chipset. Um, this will take Xeon processors all the way out to 22 core Xeons. Uh, we can put um, at least 128 gigs of memory in here. I think maybe uh, 256 if we go for the 64 gig modules. Um, and uh, it will handle uh, two Titan Xs with no problem. Uh, cooling is 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 more than adequate. It's actually quite good, uh, and uh, noise level is low. This these are uh, everything we use in here is high quality and and it's uh, uh, geared. It's engineered to run quiet. This this turned out to be just an excellent box for this. Um, and uh, there, let's see, there, a little peek at some storage options. You can get a platter drive in here. You can put one large platter drive. More than that, we don't recommend for th uh, thermal reasons, uh, but you can accommodate uh, several uh, SSDs. So storage is, is really not a problem. You can get a fair amount of uh, capability in here these days. Um, that's a great system. Uh, I really like it. A lot of these workloads do not scale all that well on multi-GPU. So uh, two Titan Xs on, um, with a, a, a fast 4 or 8-core processor, uh, 128, 64, 128 gigs of memory, that is an outstanding mach machine for doing this kind of work. Um, and you will get, generally, pretty good scaling on two GPUs. Um, and if you're uh, if you're looking for something that's a good base platform, uh, and you don't want to spend the money on the GPUs, you could put a single 1070 in here and be ready to go. You you could uh, it'd be a great uh, starter system, if you will, and easily easily extend it out to uh, two Titan Xs in there. Uh, that's a great platform. Uh, the other one that we're looking at this is our full uh, digits box in quotes. Um, this is our, our uh, from our peak single line. This is our main uh, full size workstation, and this is um, uh, an outstanding build. Uh, you may have seen some uh, more compact uh, four GPU workstations. We don't like those. We we looked at smaller cases. Uh, by the time you put 
uh, that much compute capability in a box, you need to have a little room. Uh, you need some airflow because it's a lot of heat being pushed through here. Um, this it turns out to be just a, an excellent layout. The machine runs cool and very quiet. Um, this is something that you would not mind having sitting next to you on your desk or under your desk in this case. It's a pretty good size. In fact, uh, just to give you an example of the size, yeah, this is a full-size machine here. No question about that. This is serious. Um, much, much bigger than the, than the Mini. Um, but uh, quite capable. Uh, four Titan X's in here is no problem. This is a very high quality motherboard and uh, we've just upgraded this. Um, it has a wider uh, shielded uh, PCIe slots. Uh, these are all, f this is full X16 uh, with uh, uh, PCIe bus switching uh, PLX chips. Um, uh, uh, super excellent cooling for the CPU. And, and again, can put Xeons up to 22 quarter in there. Uh, uh, 256 gigabytes of memory is no problem. And um, of course, uh, plenty of room for storage options. Um, you could you can load this thing. You know, well to the point where you don't want to give up any of your PCIe slots for that you're using for GPU compute. Uh, but you can get a lot of uh, uh, disk storage in here. Um, uh, and this machine, this is the machine that I'm uh, actually testing on here uh, and um, back here on, on this page. Uh, and, and in this case, I had four 1070s in there. I don't recommend uh, 1070s in that configuration, although it's, it's not bad. Looking at a little f over 15 hours for processing uh, 1.2 million images on a pretty beefy training set. This was uh, uh, the Google Annette. Uh, uh, network which uh, is beefy enough that it will scale out to four cards and the uh, Titan X's are basically across the board twice as fast as the 1070's in real-world compute um, and scaling out to multiple cards so it, it translates uh, pretty close to just two to one um, so th this job would have taken just a little over eight hours actually on uh, uh, four Titan X's. Um, these are great machines. Um, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm very enthusiastic about this work. Uh, we have many customers doing just, it just is amazing what people are actually doing. Uh, big customers, we have people doing automotive, um, automotive work, uh, big software vendors doing uh, AI work. Uh, these are just great machines for this. Uh, if you need to go to Rack Gear, we can do that too, um, no problem. Uh, but these are definitely uh, uh, fantastic workstations and incredibly capable. Uh, like I said, this is the, the perfect time for machine learning and AI. We have uh, excellent data and just mind-blowing uh, GPU accelerated computing capability to dig through it. Uh, and when I say mind blowing, I'm, I, I've been looking at this stuff for, well, I have to admit, decades, uh, and had looked even at uh, uh, neural networks and uh, what now is called deep learning, back in the 90s, and back then we it we knew all the theory and it was like this is really interesting and we could do small problems, but there wasn't any big data sets to really work with at that time and the hardware was just pitiful it was essentially not going to happen uh, but you take a, a machine like uh, this digits box with four titan x's titan x pascals in it and you know that would have filled uh, for cpu uh, running that job you would be waiting a year for it uh, it's just incredible performance so anyway um we've got you covered if you're interested in this uh, we've tested these recommended systems. Um, I give them both a uh, hearty thumbs up. The, the, the Mini is excellent for its portability and its size. Uh, a fantastic machine, fully capable of serious compute. And the, um, our full digits box, the, that's the peak single. 
Um, it's just an outstanding machine overall. Uh, highly recommended. Uh, check them out. Thanks.